What's up, viewers, subscribers, and agents alike? It's your boy, Light Lucifer and Friends. Once again, welcome. If you are unwelcome, unwelcome yourself. Take off. Um, I'm also going to say this in honesty. If you're around children, uh, remove them from your immediate vicinity. Are you trying to distract me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> but take off. Tell them, run to the hills. Anywho, um, I view my channel analytics weekly. At the end of the week, YouTube usually sends me a inquiry on my channel analytics. And then I look at the comments, right? Because I don't care who comments. I look at the comments all the time. And I've seen somebody make a comment talking about Stop internet thugging. Yo, you got me. It's kids out the way, what I'm about to say. You got me totally fucked up. Who thugs on the internet? First off, I'm not a thug. Let's get that straight. Let's get that straight. Your pussy ass making that comment. Whoever or whatever you are. I have 27 felonies. With no co-defendants. Do you want to be the 28th? <laughs> Real talk. Facts. But I gave my life to a law. Don't push me, though. Don't push me. Don't get it messed up. Just because I'm a nice guy don't mean you won't get fucked up. Real talk. So, internet thugging? That's what y'all new generation... I know it got to be a young person who said that. Y'all do all that internet thugging. Y'all wave guns in the camera and all that. I put guns in people's faces. <laughs> Caught charges for it. But I beat them. <laughs> Straight up. Y'all play that. Y'all play that internet life. I don't do that. I did this shit in real life. I did time around people who serve life. Who serve in life right now. I did time in... Maximum security prisons. I went to prison three times. Not proud of it, but I came out unscathed. Y'all talk that shit in the comment section, but you 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 ain't you ain't lived this life. Half of y'all would never make it in prison. Half of y'all would really get. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all can't survive out here on the street. You think you're going to make it in there? Yeah. Watch yourself in, your, in my comment section because I don't play that stuff. Real talk. I don't play that. Real talk. I don't play that. Y'all wouldn't make it. Most of people talking shit. <sighs> Man, y'all get extorted. Y'all take your stuff. Or worse. Y'all know Fleece Johnson out of prison, right? <laughs> yeah. He on the street. I served time with lifers. I had a detail where I literally served food to people who were sentenced to death. 
in Jackson State Prison in Georgia. Don't ever play with me. Talking about internet thugger. Man, fuck you. Fuck your kids. How about that? <laughs> Since you want to act retarded on my channel. Don't, 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 don't. You never know a person's story. Sometimes you need to just chill out. And just listen to the message. But anywho. Back to the reality. For these pussy ass motherfuckers. Who could never do what I've done. Who could never do what I've done. Or would never do what I've done. Because all they want to do is try to goad you on. And try to push you on. To make you be like, okay, well, show me, man. Fuck you, man. If you ain't willing to do it yourself, you shut the fuck up. To me, in my heart of hearts, you a bitch. If you can't do what's simple in reality for what I'm saying... Yo, pussy, because I know when you go in front of them judges and all them people, you bitch up. Don't don't come over here, because I'm telling you right now, this is the realm of the real. Real talk. Straight up. It's the realm of the real. Motherfuckers want to goad you on and talk shit. I, I, look, I, 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 I even suggested this. Real talk. I suggested this. I suggest we have a YouTube boxing match. For all these creators who talking all this shit, and we just have a boxing match. We ain't got to bring no guns, no security, none of that. We ain't got to do none of that. Let's have a boxing match. Let's fight. Yeah, because a lot of y'all bitch-ass motherfuckers don't understand when your ass go to prison, you're going to have to fight. I fractured my jaw on the street. But a bitch ain't fractured my jaw when I left prison. I'll tell you that much. At all. These motherfuckers work. And all my real G's will tell you, stand up. <laughs> I fought. I lock your ass in that motherfucking cell and we gonna get it on. All your homeboys, you think they're your homeboys, they go, yeah, they can't get to you. But who got your ass now? Yeah, watch your mouth when you come to my comment section. Anywho, that's neither here nor there. What I wanna talk about is public officers and employees. Pull out your pens and paper, classes in session. Okay? Write this down. 63, American Jurisprudence, second edition. Now, of course, I would never show you the book because bitch ass motherfuckers want to hijack stuff, but it is what it is. <clears throat> Reference point. Subsection 7. We're going to get deep. Here it goes. Office as trust or agency. What comes first? Trust. All right, I'm going to hit a keynote on this just to keep the, 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 the other individuals away from it because they'll never find it. They won't. They'll try to take my video and try to make you believe that they did it. No, we're going to keep one keynote. Write this down. Such trust, such, which means evidence, trust, 
which means a trust exists. A trust, like people say, I trust you. That's a confidence. But look it up in Black's Law Dictionary, whole different definition. Listen to the next key word. Extends to all capitalize that matters within the range of the duties of their office. And that's in less than 11 minutes. Didn't I tell y'all, y'all was the boss all the time? <laughs> Everybody talk about I'm a boss, chick, I'm a boss. But it, no, you're not. <laughs> it says all matters. So why are you sitting here talking about you negotiating debts with anybody if you're the boss? Y'all do not understand that people with so-called millions of dollars don't even know this. At all. They, do not, they don't even know this. They don't. They don't even buy these books. This is what y'all don't understand what I'm telling y'all. You are the office of sovereign. Once you read that and get it for yourself, you'll know who the real master is. It's you. But a lot of y'all are afraid. What if, what if, what if? Yeah, that's what they that's what they inculcated within your mind. That's what they have inculcated within your mind. That's what they have done to y'all. Mentally traumatized y'all to make y'all believe that you can't do something. You can't. No. It says extends to all matters. Y'all really give of y'all yourselves, and I I keep showing it time and time again, time and time again. They are banking off of you. They're looking for your labor. To try to make some so-called so thing. Wealth is non-existent. There's no such thing as wealth. You are the wealth. Excuse me. My grandma recipe told me never to point a fork at a person. <laughs> but it's the truth. You are the wealth. You are the officer. You are the end. Of, you are the officer. Y'all could arrest police, and y'all don't even know that. <laughs> Oops. Seriously, they ask you for anything that's personal in regards to your business trust. It's a crime. They say, do you have ID? Y'all just give it over. You have a license? Y'all just give it over. If you're a secured party creditor, you don't get them nothing. Yeah, they got a gun. So what? If they harm you, you have a security agreement. Well, basically, I'm indemnified, which means... If I'm UCC1 corrected, anything happens to me, your bonds, your job, 
your whole career will be shit canned. We going to 86 your ass. <laughs> but they don't mess with you because at the same token, it's like, yo, you know, you know. You are free in the world to do what you want. You don't owe these individuals anything. You own you. Straight. You own you. Oh, excuse me. You own you. <laughs> For real. These people can't tell you to give me, give me, give me, give me. Give me means you're robbing me. Somebody say, give me that give. Look it up in Black Saw Dictionary. To give means to surrender. I can't do that. I can't. I can't do that. Give me your ID. I ain't surrendering to you. I'm not surrendering to you. Not at all. I'm not giving you anything. What's your name? What the fuck? Who the fuck are you? I'm the master of this land. <laughs> Who are you? An invader. I'm not giving no invader nothing. Nope. Of course not. Why would I? You talking about get out the car? I'm going to beat the shit out of you if I get out this car. Because now you invade my home. Because a vehicle is an extension of your home. Real talk. I'm not giving you shit. Just like you can tase me, I can tase your ass too. <laughs> Just like you can beat me with a baton, I can hit you with a baton too. It's called mutual combat. You'll always beat the charging court. Ask me how I know. Straight. You took me out of my space of comfortability, which is my home, which is my vehicle. I don't owe you no explanation. I don't even have to say nothing. At all. I don't have to say nothing to you. Straight. I know in my last video I said... I like Kalimata, stuff olives, the feta, bismillah. <laughs> I need it myself. <laughs> What's up, love? Dang, I can't enjoy my food. <laughs> I'm doing what? I'm say love. Yeah. All that smacking. Yeah, I do. I do be doing all that smacking. You open your mouth. Olives are healthy. Very healthy. Super dope. To me, a lot of people don't like them, but get a little bit of that. Oil on it. A natural oil. Mm. 
Kaya lang yung trap. Alhamdulillah. But yes, people, you need to know that in truth, you are not their employees, they're your employees. When they say, I am the law, no, you're not. You're not the law. I am. <laughs> That's why you send these idiots out here in the streets that think that they can tell you what to do and where you can be and who you can hang. No. No. I can be wherever the fuck I want. Wherever I feel like I want. Wherever I wish to go. I'm free to move. I'm free to travel. I'm free. They have this ideology where they can motivate themselves to try to tell y'all that you can't do that. Don't tell me what I can and can't do. If you put your hands on me, I'm going to treat you just like a regular individual. I'm probably going to beat the shit out of you because I'm going to treat you just like a regular individual. You strat, I'm strat too. Real talk. Put your hands on me. Once you put your hands on me, it's, it's called engagement. Once you put your hands on me, it's on. It's on. May the best man or woman win. Real talk. Don't put your hands on me. Don't tell me what I can and can't do. Public intoxication. Everybody intoxicated out here. What fuck you talking about? All these bars out here open. Y'all sit here talking. Y'all, y'all, what are talking to me? I'm going to give you bitches a show for real. I don't fight. See, a fight is going back and forth. I isolate your ass. <laughs> Don't put your hands on me. Don't touch me. I'm royalty. Don't put your fucking hands on me. Let me drink my drink. Mind my business. Get your bitch ass on. Straight. Roll out. Roll out. Swole out. People think that because they big and up. I'm six foot fucking three. What the fuck you think I'm finna do? Lay down? Crazy as hell. Crazy. I'll beat your ass. <laughs> but do I seek violence? Absolutely not. I seek peace. But don't get it messed up. See this fork? You in a restaurant? <laughs> you know what I do with this fork? I jazz this bitch right in your eyeball. <laughs> real. Yep. And kick the door open backward just to make sure nobody chasing me. If you know, you know. <laughs> you never turn your back to a conflict. Hoorah. <laughs> you never turn your back to a conflict. 
which is why I tell people all the time, I face individual situations head on. Head on. Got horns on my head because I will ram the shit out your ass. I'm not Aries, so don't get it messed up. <laughs> I'm not a zodiac. I'm not a zodiac freak. None of that. But mm -mm. I'm not one you want to fuck with. I'm not one of the people you want to fuck with. But I don't fuck with nobody. That's the beautiful thing. The beautiful thing. I mind my business. My own personal business. That's all I do. I don't discuss anybody else's business or anything. It don't have nothing to do. If it don't have nothing to do with me, my name Bennett, I ain't in it. <laughs> well, my name is really not Bennett, but yeah. I don't mess with nobody. I like to be left alone in my own space, my own peace. Chilling. Worrying about what, not worrying, but dealing with what I should deal with. That's all I do. That's it. I mind my business. I just, mm, all right. It's the way I roll through life. That's how you stay safe. You know? Your affairs. And a lot of people have had this notion where they, they feel like social media has given people too much access to people's personal life. That's, that, that is not the truth. Mind your business. Just, just, just take care of your business. Take care of your business. That's it. Don't worry about what everybody else got going on. Fuck Nate Stallion and all of them other motherfuckers and who we'll out there and talking crazy and all that. It's just, nah, just chill. Just, just, mm -mm. just do you. That's why they say do you. Cool. Do you. Work on you. Now, I'm not getting paid for this promotional anything or anything. I found these uh, Zaps pretzel sticks. First time I seen them. Google style. Go ahead and try them out. Hey, mm -hmm. these motherfuckers look like they, they coated, coated with season. This shit gonna be hypertension for real. <laughs> and it says simply, sin. It says sinfully season. I bet it is. Sin evil. God damn. It's Milan. Oh, yeah. Sin never tastes so good. <laughs> yeah, what? Babe, you got to try this. You got to try this. It's, it's, it's. Just like the moon chip, just pretzels. But the pretzels are more... I don't like pretzels. Why not? Why you digging in the bag again there? <laughs> mm. <laughs> I like the taste. Yeah. I'll buy these again. 
Throw it down. Throw it down. Throw it down. Louisiana, I don't know what the hell I do. Let me say that boo shit. I definitely said that boo shit. The other state, you heard me? <laughs> you heard me? But yeah. Anywho, let me get ready to get on with the rest of my day. I got other things to do. But I just wanted to drop that jewel on y'all. So, basically, you know what you know. Hijackers. It is what it is. I tell you what, though. To all my haters, I'm going to say it from this point forward. Real talk. To all my haters, who got something negative to say in my comment section and anything, watch God. Don't watch me, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Because the only thing I'm here to do is to motivate people and to get people on the way to go. You know what I'm saying? Watch God, bitch. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Take your hate somewhere else. Take that hate and that monitoring spirit you got and take that shit somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Because the only thing I could do is motivate you. Take it how you want it. You know? I'm a chill, laid-back person, really. Laid-back, chilling. Mind my business. But don't come in my comment section with that whole ass shit. Because just like I can, I, I be inactive, chilling, I can get active, for real. My feet hit the floor. Take that hate and that shit somewhere else. <laughs> Move that shit on. Move your feet. Catch fire. You know what I'm saying? Don't, no, no. I don't, I don't spew no negative vibes to nobody unless they spew that stuff to me. Straight. You give me hatred, I'm going to give you hatred. You give me love, I'm going to give you love. Take your ass on, man. Ma'am or man. <laughs> Move. Just go on. Do something with yourself. Shake some ass. <laughs> he told you, he's he some clubs out in the right motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck out of here. I don't wake up in the morning with that on my mind. This channel over here. Is about positivity and education. Other than that, if you don't want that, get the fuck off my channel. And to that person that said internet thugging, bitch, I'll beat your ass in public. Really. I would I don't even need no weapons or nothing. I I would whoop your ass with my belt on <laughs> some granddaddy shit. Play with something say. Don't irritate me. I'm here to educate. I'm not here to intimidate. It's a big difference. Because I've been through so I've been through a lot. Things that y'all would have nightmares about. But guess what? In the reality of it all, I got peace within myself. I lay down and chill. Y'all never been through it. After y'all, people that's coming to the comment section talking shit, y'all some young dudes. And these people out here sitting out there, like, that's y'all the same dudes in front of the gas station talking about y'all trying to make a flip. Yeah, somebody gonna flip your ass. <laughs> y'all don't know what street life is like. I'm telling you, it's ugly. But I will tell you this on a closing note. Blood smells like copper.
Y'all want to play with the streets? Why you think Penny's always, always on the ground? It's not an accident. Y'all do not know what street life is really like. I won't say what I've experienced and witnessed, but I tell you what, it ain't pretty. It's not pretty. Y'all out there flex it. I was out there in that water. I gave it up though. Couldn't take it no more. Street life ain't no joke. It's no joke. I keep playing with that street life. I made it out. <laughs> and I left willingly. But y'all keep playing with that street life. Thinking y'all tough and all that. Be tough when you want to raise your family and help your family out. Be tough when you actually make a savings account where you can save some money up so you can do something for your family. Get some life insurance. You know what I'm saying? Handle your business. Might take you a little, little time, but it, it, it'll happen. But it takes time. That street light, that fast life, get your ass put in a trash can. <laughs> And I'm just saying this as a helpful note to those people who think that street life is the way. Street life ain't the way. It's, it, it isn't the way for those who like to be politically correct. It isn't the way. It's not going to work. It doesn't work. When you ride by the cemetery, when, you, when you're on your way to work or whatever, look at what you ride by. A lot of lost hopes and dreams. Be live while you are alive. Be knowledgeable. Young men, stand up. Pull your pants up. Stand up. And stop being disrespectful to the elders. Young ladies, start dressing like young ladies. And stop talking to the older women like y'all are grown and y'all older than them. Pardon my language. Older than them. Because y'all not. Y'all haven't been what they've been through. Be respectful. You'll make it far in life. Peace. Life. Love. Talk to y'all later. Agents, you already know what I got to say to y'all.